Okay, today I will create a to-do app using React. To create project files, I will use create React app. And to use it, just type npx create React app and your project name. And hit enter. We will wait it to finish. Okay, it's finished. You should see uh, something like that. Now cd into the, the project and start uh, coding. So first uh, I will create the components folder inside source uh, folder. So to create make there source components and yeah components. And I will create the components. So touch source components and one will be to do form that js other will be to do item that js and to do i to do list that js okay the vim uh, before going to vim I will remove some files inside source because I don't need them so to delete around app.css app test js index css logo svg setup tests.js and uh, report web vitals.js okay oh i should add that so Go to the source and now delete. Okay. Now I can move on uh, to the Vim. Go to the source and first clean the uh, default files. And I will import React from React. And I will delete this code in here and the class as well. Okay, now uh, move to index.js, delete that, that, and this piece of code. Okay. Right now we have a clean install of React. So the first thing I want to do is creating um, the to-do form component. So I will go to the components and to-do form.js. First, we will import React from React and we will need use state to uh, store form state export default function to do form and we will return a form inside that form we will have input and we will have a button we can close the form Close the return and close the function. Okay, uh, I will create the state const uh, to do and set to do. One is uh, for setting, one is uh, get for getting the data. Set to do equal to use state. And we should uh, define a initial state. So we will have the text about the to do and uh, the completed state, which is uh, defaultly false. We can close the object. And okay. So I will create a function to um, set the input uh, data function handle input 
change. And we will get the event. And to set to do, I will split the to do in here and I will just change the text to event that target that value. I will call it function and we can close this function as well. Inside the input, now we can pass the initial value which is to do that text and we can add the on change function handle input change okay yes now uh, we can add this form to do app uh, component say that and I will go to the app oops I will go to the app.js first I will import uh, the to do form from components and to do form yeah and also I will add use state to uh, store all to do's I will create const to do's and set to do's use states similar to do uh, to do form now we can add our to do form component in here so we have to do's and set to do's to uh, add new items we should use set to do's but inside the to do form we cannot access it to access it I will pass it as a prop so I will create a function uh, called add to do which will take the to do item and it will do that set to do's yeah by default to do's is empty array so inside that I will do that magic to do's and wait as a first item, I will add the new to do and the other uh, items. Okay, and we need to close the function as well. Now I can uh, pass the function as a prop into this component add to do equal to add to do. Now I can save it and head back to components to do form. Okay, now we need to get a to do as a prop. And now we can add function handle submit and it will take events and first we will run a dot prevent default it helps us uh, oops I just messed up here uh, event dot prevent default is uh, when we submit the form it's not refreshing the page after that we can run at to do function it will just take to do and after that we can set to do to um, text empty again and completed will be false okay and we can close the function and inside the form we can add on submit and handle submit with that when we press the button or when we submit the form we can add the new to do to do to do's array to render the to do's we should create the to do item component so i will go to the to do item 
and import React from React. Export default to do item. Oops, to do default function to do item and return. It will be a div uh, inside that div. We can pass the to do dot text that close the return and close the function. And we should take uh, the to do as a prop. Okay, we created the to do item component. Now we can go to the to do list to list the to do items. First, we will import React from React and export default from sorry, export default function to do list. And also, we will take the to do's as a prop. We will return. Um, we can map the to do's get to do and a k and inside that we will render the to do item and also we will pass the k and the to do. Also, we should close it there and the return and the function. Oh, okay, and we should close that. Say that, and yes, uh, we should import the to do item uh, to use it from here. Um, and we can go to the app.js and import to do list and to do list it will take to do as a prop Okay, now I think we can um, test it. So I will come here and create a new terminal. See the tutorials and react to do. And I will type yarn start to start the project. Okay, it's created it. So right now we have the form. We are not seeing the list because our array is empty. Add something new. Hit enter and our uh, list render that. Add other things here. Looks like it's doing the job. Now we can add uh, the title. React to do, and we can create a button, a button to reset all the to dos. Reset. To reset it, we should create a function, and I will call it handle reset. It will just set to dos to the initial state. and create on click function handle reset save that okay now when we click on the reset it's deleting all the zoos click reset it's deleted 
Okay, um, now he should add the um, completed feature. So I will move to app.js to create a new function which is for updates to do and it will take the uh, ID or um, K and what it does it will um, map the to do's array and when we are mapping we are getting the to do and the K And if k equals equals to id, um, yeah, if uh, the k equals to id, we can set to do completed equal to true or. Uh, if it's done, then we click on it, we can make it uh, undone, so just do that, to do complete it. With that, uh, it will inverse it. Okay, and right now it's not saving, we should save the new to do's array. So I will just test it out in here to control it, console log, to do save it. I will open uh, the development console, create something new, oh and yeah, before testing we should pass this function to do, uh, to do item, so to do that. Uh, go to the to-do list first. We should pass it the to-do list and then to-do item Come here um, Update to-do equal to update to-do I will pass it as a prop Go to to-do list uh, Add that um, update to-do uh, it will pass that to to do item so update to do equal to update to do say that Oops. say that close it and um, we can say that as well so let's go to um, to do item Take uh, update to do function. Uh, I want to trigger it when we click on the text. Add it here uh, on click update to do, and I think we sh we are getting the key right. Okay, I don't know. Can I use the key? So. Let's test it out. Okay. I think it's getting the K, but I'm not sure. Okay, say that. Yeah, K is not defined. So just try that. Add K to here. K is not a prop. Okay, I want to get it uh, different. So let's create a new uh, prop called index and I will log the index here. Wait, I don't need to log the index, I can just run the update to the function. Update to do index. Alright, say that, uh, go to the to-do list. Um, Add, add a new prop called 
uh, index and it will be equal to k. Now, yeah, adding function is working well. I will just click on the item. I'm getting the to-do's array and looks like it's, yes, it's updating it. Right now, uh, we can just go to the app.js to fix our function. We see it's updating state, so we can now just um, set to-do's to the new to-do's array. I think it will work. Fresh it and add some items in here, but we cannot understand it. So we should um, add something to understand is it completed or not. So I will go to to do item. Uh, it's going disgusting. So I will come here. Add style and what we will do, we will add text decoration and what we will do if to do that completed, I want to and it's line true true oops true and if it's not just return now save it wait we did something wrong hmm. what is it wrong Unexpected token. Just take a look at here. Okay, fix that. Text decoration. Now it should work in time. Mm, it's not changing the state. So to test it, I will go to to do form and change the default state to true to see is it working yeah push it create something new looks like it's not working yes i might did something wrong text decoration line true okay i think i messed up um, the CSS part text decoration to do completed. Yeah, I misspell that line true. Say that okay. Yeah, something changed. So I will go to to do form to fix it again. Set the completed to false as a default, save that. I will refresh the page. Let's create a new to do and other to do and something. Okay, right now they are not completed, so we are not seeing a line. When I click on that, I should see a line. Yeah, I'm making something wrong. Okay, I checked my code and do some quick research on internet. Uh, I did a um, small mistake. Uh, we are not uh, doing our changes inside uh, set to do's function, so it's not just saving it. So what I did different than um, the other, I uh, first run uh, the set to do's function, and inside I change the um, completed state. What I did, I to do, I will uh, map the to do's, and if the k and the given id is max, I'm just returning the changed to do, else 
I'm just returning the to do and I don't uh, change other things just that so head back to the project just create a to do item and other one click on that as you can see it's created line when I click on back it's uh, remove that okay when we click on the reset it just removes it 